Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the nation today, in the 53rd episode of his monthly radio broadcast Man Ki Baat. Today's episode was Prime Minister Modi's first radio address after the Pulwama terror attack, in which 40 CRPF soldiers laid down their lives. In the last edition of the broadcast, the Prime Minister had spoken about the contribution of the Election Commission of India towards strengthening the democracy and had also urged young people to register as voters. Prime Minister Modi has spoken about several key issues, including education of girls, exam stress, pollution and drug abuse in his previous broadcasts. I will request the younger generation to try and understand the spirit and emotions of these families. We don't need to look at the pages of history to understand what patriotism is or what a sacrifice is. I was surprised and pained to see India did not have a national war memorial, a memorial where the gallantry of soldiers, who gave their lives to protect the nation, can be honored. I decided that there must be a monument like this in our country. Today if our youth need an inspiring personality for guidance, it is Bhagwan Birsa Munda. Bhagwan Birsa Munda, with his traditional bow and arrow shook the British Empire armed with guns and cannons. Jamshedji Tata was truly a visionary who not only saw the future of India but also made its foundations strong. Former Prime Minister Morarji Desai was born on February 29th. He was among the country's most disciplined politicians. During the tenure of Morarji Desai, the 44th Amendment to Constitution was brought about. This was important, because during the emergency, the 42nd Amendment, which curtailed the powers of the Supreme Court and introduced other provisions, was reversed. We all will be busy with elections for the next two months. I myself will be a candidate in this election. Keeping with the democratic traditions, the next monkey bath will be on the last Sunday of May.